Good Thursday afternoon. CBS 5 Meteorologist Mike Brookins in the Weather Center with your digital forecast. Any time of the day you want to follow me on social media, we'll post things even outside of the newscast, maybe before we show them on TV. You can follow me at Mike Brookins on Twitter and Meteorologist Mike Brookins on Facebook. High temperature today was, you know, deceiving because this was back at midnight. We were in the lower 50s. Since then, temperatures have been rescinding and falling. In fact, we are at the low temperature for the day so far at 41 as of this recording time and look for the temperatures to maybe hold steady, drop another degree as we progress through the evening. But that's still quite a bit above average. Typically, we'd be in the upper 20s for a low with a high temperature in the lower 40s. Here's what we can expect. For tonight, lake effect, rain and snow, mostly up to the north or east of Lake Ontario. Not to say we couldn't get a rain shower or two. It should be light and pretty spotty. There may also be some lake effect to the south and southwest of Syracuse off of Lake Erie. For Friday, it's breezy, seasonal temperatures. That means lower 40s for a high. And there'll be a shift in the winds come late day. A little front works through, and that'll bring the lake effect into the Syracuse area by the late afternoon or, let's say, the evening at the latest. It'll be chilly on Saturday with some lake effect snow showers and flurries. But at this point, now looking for a big accumulation and with temperatures in the upper 30s, kind of a wet slushy accumulation that we do see. So here's the future cast tonight. There you see the rain and snow east of the lake. Higher elevations, Adirondacks, Tug Hill, it's wet snow. Up uh, along Interstate 81 and up closer to Lake Ontario, it will be in the form of rainfall for tonight. So Oswego, Watertown, you're looking at mostly rain showers shifting around east of the lake. But the Tug Hill could get some accumulation, maybe an inch or two for tonight. Same with uh, Herkimer County up there in the Adirondacks, northeastern sections of Oneida County. Tomorrow, again, in between the lake effect bands, they'll watch in the afternoon what gathers over Lake Ontario. That's the front that will drop the band and the wind flow to more west-northwest into central New York going into the evening. That west-northwesterly wind flow continues into Saturday, more northwesterly, actually. And I think this does break it up a little bit. So we will find some lighter snow showers and flurries, but still a chance for some accumulation. 38, our forecasted low for tonight. We'll find isolated rain showers. Now, east of Lake Ontario, some lake effect rain and snow. 43 for tomorrow, we'll find lake effect rain and snow to the north. That'll drop into the Syracuse area late in the day. Winds will be breezy tonight and for tomorrow. For Saturday, still a brisk breeze. Upper 30s with some wet snow showers. Morning flurries on Sunday. Afternoon looking a little bit brighter. Could get some partial sunshine at times, but it's not going to help our temperatures. It's chilly. 41 on Monday. There will be some early snow showers and flurries lingering as we go into the afternoon. Those start to taper off. My pick day Tuesday where it's mainly dry until the late afternoon or possibly not until the evening before we get any rain showers moving in. We will moderate temperature-wise into the 40s, mid-40s going into Wednesday with a chance for scattered rain showers. And then another storm system for next Thursday with some rain and snow showers that will drop the temperatures for late in the week for Friday and Saturday and rejuvenate lake effect snows.